I wasn't right. smiling when we started. <laughs> I wasn't. Well, welcome I back. Me off guard. Welcome back to no, no. the Midwest Sports Show. Coming, it looks like it's sunny. Is it great? It, yeah, well, it's see, a little cloudy. Gene, we uh, are live. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure and out where we're live from. But the field looks sunny. Yeah, a little bit bright. Maybe, yeah, the maybe, maybe they looks, got the lights on. Uh, well, Gene, yeah. Yeah, we will discuss uh, where we, the mystery location oh, yeah. uh, in one moment here. Uh, but first, uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show. Hello. And if you'd like to join the show mm. and uh, see if you can spot uh, the stadium uh, yourself, I, how how could you spot what you do. put? You know, there's nothing. There's we know it's not a dome stadium. I figured that out. <laughs> but what what else? Well, Gene, we last week we we're at Lambeau. Oh yeah, that very... was good. It was good to get to Green Bay. I look forward to going back <clears> and. Uh, hopefully September or October. Yeah. All days. right. Well, my name is uh, Chris Dots, uh, by the way, and then uh, that's Gene Steigen. Hello. We should uh, probably introduce ourselves. Hey, uh, by the as way. Well. Oh. Uh, uh, but yeah, go ahead. Oh, for all the people suffering through the Midwest, how cold it is. If it's any consolation, uh, L.A. just had their first month, February, where we didn't hit seventy downtown one day. So wow. We w right. Hey, we're hey, we're suffering too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Gene. You know, I was and it's actually rained a bunch. Well, Gene, I was checking the uh, the temperature earlier today because I was like, man, is it going to be like around like sixty five or seventy at the sweet spot? Yeah. Uh, later today, so I could go running, and what? Uh, no problem. Uh, and uh, it was around uh, sixty two. Oh. And I was like, well, it's a little chilly, but yeah, I think I can much. probably. I'll have to put on a long sleeve shirt. Yeah. Oh, uh, but I can probably make it. That's good. Hey, so, that's but good. then, uh, yeah. uh, no, uh, but then I was in the weather app. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the app that shows you all the weather. And then I got lacrosse and Chicago on there and St. Louis because, you know, sometimes oh, uh, for man. baseball and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, lacrosse is nine degrees wow. <laughs> at like 12, it is way 12 too uh, in the afternoon. It, it, March, March is supposed to go in like a lion and come out like a lamb. Well, that's a big old lion. And I don't know where the lamb is. By the way, I'm wearing my Iowa Cubs. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Here. Oh, Iowa Cubs. They're triple H. The so. Iowa. Oh, okay. Iowa Cubs. All right. Did you? But, uh, are, are, by the way, are they paying the Cubs uh, licensing fees? That's uh, <laughs> that's awfully close to the no, real uh, Cubs. Well, there's a Cubs triple A team. The Cubs don't oh, okay. know. Oh, okay. Hey, are you running? Did you run, really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Went jogging. You know, exercise you know, is important, Gene. Well, three weeks in three weeks is the marathon, which I ran the marathon. <laughs> How many people in this room can say they've run a marathon? <laughs> yeah. How many people can say that they were incapacitated for two days oh afterwards? Oh, my gosh. I was Because they didn't realize uh, their own capacity I, I was, I've for never pain. Been, I've never been in worse shape, I don't think, physically than after that. Yeah. You felt like you were going to die? It was tough. I couldn't even move. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not running this year. I'm never okay. running again. <laughs> all right, well, Gene, we uh, we're all Ever. we're waiting. Well, that was the big announcement, Gene. Congratulations. Oh, you had no I'm idea. Never, I'm never running a 5K. I'm never gonna run a 1K. I ran 26.2 miles. I'm done. You're done. That's it. You're good. Yeah. You're good for uh, I got for a my while. Medal and that's all. All right. Well, Gene, we're not. You know, we're uh, speaking of uh, waiting for bated breath. Uh, but by the way, who who baited the breath? That that's what. How do you bait breath? I don't know. Gene? Is that a lion thing did, did, too? Did anyone answer maybe, that? Maybe anyone that, figure that maybe out? Maybe that's a, a mating call when you meet somebody. Maybe baited. Hey, speaking of baited breath, I'm seeing cats this week, <laughs> so that will be very a lot exciting. Of, a lot of baiting going on. Oh, I'll tell you what, oh. can you can you bait them into a trap? Right. And skin those cats, mm -hmm. those alley cats. Yeah, Gene, are you are you a cat person or a dog person? No, I I we had cats. No, I know cats are fine. They can sit there. Gene, Gene have you want. have you heard no, the, the dogs for sure? There's like a yeah. I'm a dog person. Can you did you know that there's like a direct link to schizophrenia and like <laughs> owning cats? Like it's true. I, no, I like there's something that. in cat feces. There's like a bacteria right. or something oh, really? like that. That like uh, yeah, all like serial killers mm -hmm. and all that. All had cats. I'll have cats. So uh, yeah. if you got little kids, keep them. Get, get, yeah. get the cats out of the house. Yeah. All right. Um, All right, but Gene, we're uh, very uh, again the mystery oh. place. You know, this is a lot like uh, where in the world is Matt Lauer? Right. Right. Hey. But, you know. Oh, uh, what a Matt. Uh, what a downfall. I think yeah. Without the uh, sexual. Uh, by the way. <laughs> Uh, was he going to all these whorehouses uh, and all I those different know. places? 
What kind of sexual deviant acts so, was he performing? Why can't these guys just behave? I, I'm, I, I behave, and I'm not even married, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm single, and I'm well, not Jane, cheating on anyone. You're not getting paid twenty million dollars a year, yeah. and I uh, have a bunch of twenty-year-old interns uh, hey. make, getting coffee for you. All right. Oh, oh also, that's why. Uh, uh, last week, I saw Cinderella. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. I think it was last week. Yeah, last week. Uh, yeah, it's a ballet. I went to the ballet. It's my second ballet. Have you ever been to the ballet? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I'm probably I went to the Nutcracker a lot. Oh, yeah, that's when right, I was a right. kid. Yeah, of course. At the okay. Viterbo. Uh, All right, yeah. so Gene, uh, the mystery location. Where are we? All right, see. And I'm surprised you don't know this. Wait, it's not. Is it Wrigley Field? Somehow? Well, I'll tell you what, Gene. It may be difficult to tell because we are across the street at a rooftop bar. Oh, we're at the rooftop. Wow. And I uh, didn't know that. you know, we we're in well, focus yeah. here. Oh, I don't want to point. At well, you. we're in focus here, Gene. But the <laughs> you got to point back oh, there. Oh yeah, yeah. The yellow. <laughs> You're back behind us. Oh yeah. I make Gene, why are you pointing at the screen? The stadium's back yeah. there. <laughs> There's a weather pattern. See this yellow thing. That's got, if that's the foul pole, it says hey, hey on it, the, oh, in yeah. honor of Jack Brickhouse. Well, it's a little blurry. We can't see it right wow. now. But, Gene, I, I'll tell you what, Gene, there were other oh. seats available yeah. that I looked at. And uh, let me let me show I took a picture. Mm -hmm. I can magically put it on the uh, computer here. So let's take a look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh wow, the Budweiser bleachers. There, there's another there's another view. Yeah, from yeah. across the street. Can you yeah. imagine paying uh, 180 dollars uh, and seeing the back of a uh, Budweiser scoreboard? Yeah, jumbotron. Well, that, some of the neighborhood people didn't like that, and they tried to fight the Cubs because they they they're not even paying hardly any money to sit up there. Then the Cubs don't get much, and then they well, don't want to block. They are probably beer. paying twenty dollars a beer for God's sake, yeah. right? You yeah. Well, that. the apartment owners they're making a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. All right. So, well, Gene, those are some pretty crappy. Oh, yeah. nice. I basically, I was Googling uh, Wrigley Rooftop Bar yeah. pictures, and uh, not a lot of great ones. Not like, I was trying to look for one oh, in the okay. uh, nighttime. You know, I've never. Not good. I, I've never been up there. I always walk by them. They rent those out for parties and stuff. You can go up there, but I'd rather sit in the stadium. But, yeah, hey, hello, everybody. Welcome. We're we're uh, on uh, Addison, right across. We're Addison. Is and there's a fire station right right next to us. Yeah. There we go. Yep. And there's a hole. Yeah. Like there's a hole <laughs> giant. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you better keep your head. Have, keep your head over there. They better <laughs> the lights. The sunspot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, uh, lovely they, Wrigley Field. Oh my gosh, wonderful. And we're gonna talk about baseball okay. uh, right off the bat, Gene. I w I've been watching a lot of spring training. I finally got to see the Cubs play. I I watched the Cubs play Milwaukee. I don't know who won, but I was just watching it. For the well, uh, youngsters. Gene, uh, I'll tell you what. It uh, takes a lot mm -hmm. to uh, knock football off uh, the pedestal yeah. here on the Midwest Sports Show. Okay. Uh, but that's exactly what happened mm -hmm. uh, this week because uh, Bryce Harper. Oh, it's so sad. Signed uh, with the Phillies. Oh. And by the way, Gene, that was the big uh, surprise, having uh, the pictures on the screen. Oh, that's great. Where'd that come from? I just noticed that. <laughs> That's the magic of uh, wow. the magic of okay, television. Yeah. Hey, listen. Now I hope Bryce kind of bombs out because it's going to make me sad if he's really good and he's not playing <laughs> for the Cubs. Because he wanted to play for the Cubs and all the fans wanted him there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, James. Way to look at it uh, to the well, Chicago I'm, Cubs I, point I, of view. Yeah, I don't want uh, I don't want him to be successful. All right, well, Gene, let, let's get to the details okay, here. Okay, sure. Uh, Harper signs with the Philadelphia Phillies. His new contract with the Phillies is for 13 years. Wow. And $330 million, five more than uh, uh, Gene Carlo Stanton's 13-year yeah. deal. 24 point, f I'm sorry, 25.4 a year. And, uh, Gene, that seems like a lot of money, but uh, by the year 2030, that'll be like uh, $50, right? Yeah. With inflation maybe. and it the debt. It doesn't seem as bad as a pool holes contract, and he's a lot younger. But it makes me worry. <laughs> well, Buhos was already 40 years old, right, when he signed that? That's that's Because we don't have a birth certificate. So, they ruined the whole franchise. But it also makes me worried for uh, – because Scott Boris represents Chris Bryant. So, He's oh going to try to up it. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't want to lose Chris Bryant. So a couple other points. Okay. Um, he he ends so he heads to the Phillies, but ends up accepting a deal paying him on average five million less per year than the deal he turned down with the Nats. Yeah. So he basically uh, went for long term uh, guarantees. He didn't as he opposed didn't want to no uh, the big Nationals. money. He didn't want to go to Philly. I got it. well. My inside sources are me. 
he <laughs> did not want to go to the Phillies. It was out of desperation he went there. He wanted to come play for the Cubs or possibly the Dodgers. Uh, he, he seemed pretty jazz, right, at the I press conferences? So. That's a just that's so he, he wants to be the big name at a losing franchise. I don't have to worry about the playoffs. Well, I'll tell you, by May he's gonna get he's gonna be getting booed. Remember Gene Carlos Stanton? Uh, he he went to the Yankees first year in. He's already getting booed lots because he struck out so much. So, <laughs> so watch out. Bryce. So how does that relate to? Uh, well, uh, Bryce, you better. Bryce? But don't don't be too good. Then it'll make me sad. All right. I well, hey, you know they got Jake Arrieta. Yeah, Jake doesn't want to be there either. <laughs> He wants I'll tell you, they win 100 games, so they're both going to want to be there pretty um, damn quick, right? Yeah. If the Cubs didn't have so many crappy contracts. Um, <laughs> now they're crappy. Remember, well, I mean, we were uh, talking uh, like uh, 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 how much of a genius uh, Theo yeah, was, and now they're loaded on, with the, they're just uh, the Yankees. Same thing. He It happened in Boston. He signed some terrible people, that are long, crappy contract. Jason Hayward, uh, what's his name? Chatwood, and, and then you, Darvish. Ugh. And Brandon woof, Morrow, woof. even though Brandon Morrow is good, but he's hurt. Yeah, literally woof. So thirteen years, Gene. That is uh, a. Uh, uh, it's the year two thousand nineteen. Yeah, I, I checked this morning. Okay, Gene, that is going to be two thousand thirty-two. That seems like it's a hundred years from now. Wow, that's a long time. Can he possibly be good in year twelve? I don't know. of this contract. I uh, I don't know because he plays pretty hard. I'll give him that. And he bangs into a lot of stuff, so he might <laughs> yeah, be hurt. Yeah, he's always running into walls. Yeah, and then and who knows after the next they they have to they bargain again in twenty twenty one. I mean, he might be getting a, a raw deal by then if he's good. Well, I don't think the players are getting. I mean, they're not going to get more money, right? Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. a sh- the, the shorter term deal. So this yeah. is kind of a. Oh, the younger guys will get more money. The older guys probably won't. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Good point. Well, who knows. Um, so anyways, uh, then, yeah, Gene, uh, from the Nationals perspective, they don't want to give him 13 years, but, uh, that was pretty much, um, yeah, that was, uh, yeah. they want to give him 10 years. Um, yeah, that's a long ass time. Hey, Scott Forrest <laughs> isn't as powerful. I mean, that's a long time, but it's not the money they were originally, they were saying 400 million. I mean, I, I, I would do it for, uh, Yelich. Right. But, uh, the, oh, that, yeah, Yelich? Christian Yelich, sure, why not? Oh, yeah, for sure. Ryan Braun, sure, why not? Chris Bryant. <laughs> no, okay. And then uh, here's some more perspective, Gene. Right. Yes. Uh, when this contract is over, uh-huh. Bobby Bonilla will still be getting a oh 1.19 million per year you from the what? Mets Ber- for Ber- another three years. I'll tell you, when, maybe Bernie Madoff, he was up to no good. But maybe the worst thing he did was screw up the Mets so bad. That's why uh, they're paying him. And did you hear, I, I, I saw some people uh, defending the Mets saying it was actually a good contract, saying right. that it got to, it got to re- dump their, his salary. And they, they made some moves, and they oh got to the uh, World Series and lost to the Yankees. So, uh, yeah. He, that, that may be a worse contract than pool holes, what they're paying them. I mean, yeah. this is crazy. But, you know, they probably spend over a million dollars, $2 million in ketchup every year. So, it's like, mm. you know, I'm sure yeah, like to them it's nothing people. right now. Although although my contract uh, or whatever with Screen Actors Guild, if I wait, I could take uh, a monthly sum right now, pension. Oh, no. I'm oh, waiting. Yeah. Do they actually offer you like a buyout or something like yeah, that? Yeah, they or? do offer a buyout. Yeah, you're like, no yeah, way. Yeah. yeah, they offer you a, a lump sum or they you can take payment monthly or you can wait. And the more you wait, the more it goes up. That That's for those actors who need money right now. Yeah. <laughs> they got to wow. pay off the mortgage oh on the house. Oh, my gosh. That's being short-sighted. Yep. There you go. Well, the take tr- that's hey, that's how's that any different than uh, these cash checking places, Gene? Oh, Basically, right, ripping terrible. people off for cash yeah, right now. Awful. All right, so now, Gene, we're gonna move on to the next story. Okay. And watch, oh, we got wa- wa- watch this. Hello, everybody. Wow. I want to say to my friends in Iowa, Al, and anybody else, uh, good luck with the winter. It's you're only four months right. away from it being over. Yep. Who? Oh, spring like training. Spring training, yep. Oh, look, you got the MLB logo up yep. there. So, uh, Gene, I, you know, I'm not really following spring training that I much. Am, but I've been watching a bunch. I actually I, watched uh, Boston and the Mets today. I did look up uh, the Brewers' first game is on the 28th of March. Gene, that's 23 days away. We're a little over oh, yeah. three Wait, weeks. That doesn't make sense. The Cubs played 28th. Okay, well, I, I, I think Maybe teams play playing, on different days. They play the 28th games? against the Cardinals. Oh, you play the 28th. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cubs are in Texas. Oh, so you're playing the Cardinals. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, that's not very far away, Gene. That's amazing. It doesn't seem 
I know they'll be in Milwaukee, but it. I was saying before, it doesn't seem that Chicago can host a game in a month, which they're going to be because it's not yep. close. But yeah, it's only three weeks away. I hope you stick it to the Cardinals. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a nice uh, first game sweep. Yeah, of these yeah. bumps. I mean, I'm all for the Brewers being good as long as they're they don't win the division again. That's that was wrong what they did to the Cubs. <laughs> Wasn't it? Well, forced us into a one know. card wild card. Gene, one I, game. I think you guys kind of did that to yourself. All right, yeah. you, you guys lost what three of the last four and Joe of your games. Coaching for his job. <laughs> yeah, no shit. What the hell? No, he's coaching for all the hot tubs in Chicago right now. Right? Oh my gosh! Would right. you, if if he was available, would you take him? No, over no, like, no, no, of course not. I I'm sad that they've been thinking about not keeping him. But I don't know what's going. Yeah, on. all things must uh, come to an right, end, right? Right. All right, Gene, we're going to move on to football. Oh, okay. And uh, Johnny Menzel. Boy. Why are we still talking about this guy? He must have – what did he I, – I don't know what he did, but he pissed off the whole country. Well, he was cut by the uh, Alouettes. The At Alouettes. Montreal the Montreal Alouettes. Alouettes. What is an Alouette, Gene? Did you take that French? That is a French term. and It's like a Mountie, right? I'll, oh, yeah, let's go with that. I have it's like no a horse. idea. All right, I'm not. I I I am working too many things right now. I can't be looking this up with Google. Oh, okay. I'll say I was gonna say a trapeze artist, but uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Alouette. Yeah, the famous Quebec trapeze art. Well, didn't Circle Cirque du Soleil? Oh, it's, it's founded. Aren't in, they from in, them? Yeah, yeah there they, you go. They're, well, they still are. They're in Montreal. Well, I think yeah. Johnny was uh, swinging without a net, Gene, because uh, they what cut. Have you, what have your sources? Well, they, they cut him. But he can't play. For and they anybody. said, uh, yeah, he's not gonna. They're not, he's like, can't play for the CFL. Anymore. And, uh, yeah, so no – I've not heard anything yet on Twitter. Yeah, in that That's AAF, been nothing. which is barely still alive. The CFL, right? N- oh, well, it's, it's not even the yeah. CFL? No, that that's the CFL. But the AAF hasn't even offered him a job because they, they don't know what he did wrong to piss he, off the whole country. He, he would not take a $250,000 contract, right? I mean, he, he's above that. Oh, right? it, you he's think? got not many options, I don't think. Not at all. Nope. I'm know. guessing. I'm guessing he fucked the commissioner's daughter or something oh, like that. Wow. Something crazy like something that. Right out of hand. I mean, it can't be something like just getting drunk, right? I mean. Mm-hmm. Well, I think he's probably least less popular in Canada than our president, possibly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's very possible. All right. Well, and then no you're, offense. To and the speaking, speaking of uh, scandals, have you heard of Trudeau here? Trudeau's uh, oh, under fire. He's the uh, he's, he's the, the president. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What did yep. he do? Well, uh, he, he apparently uh, pressured uh, the attorney general in Canada not to prosecute this like uh, this company that he has his friends is uh, I don't know, some mm. something uh, about that. Right. right. And uh, in a country where they actually uh, prosecute uh, political misdeeds. Oh. Wow. Uh, maybe something will actually get done over there. All right. That? I I all these people that are very powerful they they mess up. We, me and you, just working class citizens, yeah. we stay out of uh, harm's way. Hey, we're, right? we're just trying to do a podcast every week. Yeah. And try to bring some mirth. You're out there jogging in the streets of LA, yeah. taking your own life in your hands. <laughs> Gene, you, you do not even overstate. I right. almost got hit by four different cars. Oh, my gosh. It's like people are not looking. Gene. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. Those scooters, we had those bird scooters, although they got kicked out of Hollywood. Now they're the Lime scooters. I would never get on one of those or a bike in, in uh, wild well, dangerous. You got to take those side streets, but yeah, uh, yeah. these a-holes taking the sidewalk, no no go. So and, Gene, hard enough. it doesn't get better for Johnny Menzel. What do he do? Because his girlfriend oh, that has gal. been accused of uh, cheating on a marathon. Yeah, Apparently she that. ran her first marathon. Speaking of marathons, Gene. Right, right. Gene, you you know you you you, you took every step. Yeah, you well, walked every mile. They keep track of you. The LA marathon because there's mile markers. They they have these electronic scoreboards on every mile. So I think they must they must register your number at every mile. Because otherwise, I would have went for a shortcut. I definitely would have. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, Gina, I guess uh, maybe in Canada they don't uh, they go by the honor system, right? Uh, because she was accused of cheating on a marathon, where she basically like obliterated like the best time or yeah. something like that. And it was her yeah. first marathon. Mm. Uh, and uh, I, I mean, again, I, I didn't, <laughs> there was the initial story, right. and then there's like a follow up, and I just did not even oh, I didn't even God. care. Yeah. But I thought uh, since we're talking Johnny Munzel. We would mention tough week. I don't know. I, he had to do. It can't just be drugs from from Heisman. Right, to, right. We can't even stay sober. I think I, he's probably on 
well, maybe I don't know what he did, but, uh, but it's reckless. I hey, listen, I haven't been in Canada for thirty years, but I'm still welcome there. I believe. Well, his dad's rich, anyways, right? So he's oh, good. Yeah, he should be okay. Mm. All right, Gene, we're gonna move on to another troubling, oh, sure. troubling story. According to Fox 11 in Green Bay, oh, that was awesome. Mike McCarthy was oh, involved in an incident with referees at his stepson's high right. school basketball game. I have an all new respect last for week him. Tuesday night. Yeah, uh, this parent chose to follow the officials and berate them, which is clearly unacceptable. Poluski, yeah, you know you're in. Uh, well, this is actually probably in uh, Pennsylvania, right? right. Poluski, high school athletic director well, Jim. He's in Green Bay. Batten told the station, "Oh, he was. Uh, yeah, you're right. You yeah. are correct. All right, Poluski. Okay. Which I I I'm impressed that he's still living in Green Bay. There you go. Yeah. Well, he hasn't sold his. No, Gene, no one else in Wisconsin can afford his house, <laughs> right? Yeah. No one can no one can afford a five million dollar house. Surprised he's still living there. <clears throat> well, I guess his kids are in school, right? Yeah, so right. His stepson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I, I like how he's uh, he's he's a good father, right? He's getting all roused yeah. up for his stepson's I, game, you know. Yeah, I kind of like it. I I would I I think it's kind of crazy following her up, but yeah, it's it's yeah, it shows a little psychotic. All right, so the parent um uh, the parent was Mike McCarthy. Mm. Fox Eleven has obtained security footage which shows police officials escorting referees from the gymnasium while a man follows them from behind. Mm. The man, according to the report, is McCarthy. Some things were said. Some language was used that we don't want in our gym. Unsportsmanlike language, Bannon said. When the referees called the situation unfortunate and described the incident as a verbal triad. Oh. Wow. Wow. My, well, Mike. 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 You ain't you ain't talking to Ed Hockaloo <laughs> anymore, buddy. These are <laughs> substitute teachers that yeah, are working for twenty dollars a night. No, exactly. You exactly. can't you can't run around the offs uh, on the sideline acting like a giant baby. Look at me. What a bully! I mean, that's that's like, and it it it, it it's no good for your kids, is it? <laughs> yeah, remember when uh, Kurt... my dad didn't go to one of my games, so I who am I to? I yeah, mean, I guess I would you wish this would have happened. Yeah, I, I I played sports all through high school. Yeah, in grade school, nothing. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he. <laughs> well, Gene, I, I love the passion, Gene. I love the passion. Right? Remember when Vince Lombardi got kicked out of a, uh, a, a soccer match in uh, 1874? Right. Yeah. For his daughters, blah blah blah. Yeah. 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 yeah a little embarrassing, Gene, from from from, from really? head, head I, NFL coach it is. to getting kicked out of a high school basketball game. I, that's amazing. I don't know. Maybe he's not going to get another job. Let's just say. Let's just say he has uh, a lot of pent up uh, anger. I yeah, guess, right? and, and nobody. He hasn't. There's no. I haven't seen any media jobs coming his way either. So, mm, like, yeah. Well, hey, Jason, Jason Wynn is going back to yeah. the Cowboys. So, all right. And then Gene, we have uh, another story for the uh, NFL uh, to fill it out. Oh. Uh, the com- by the way, the combine's going on. Do you, yeah, do you have I've any? Watched, yeah. I'm not gonna pretend I, I like I care about the it. combine. I I have not with the sound on, but just <laughs> in the background. I have it. Oh, Rich Eisen ran his uh the forty today. And wingtips. No, he ra- he runs it in a suit, but he he does wear running shoes. All right, yeah, because yeah. you could mess up your feet in wingtips, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, he ran so six point oh. Do, do they sh- do they show like the chart? Like his, like is he improving? Is he? Yeah, like, they not show really every improving? year. This, this wasn't his worth one, but it, it, yeah, he's slowing down. He's getting older. Well, I want to see his progression, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they compare him to other the other athletes. They'll put them side by side. But he's doing <laughs> for charity. Him and Michael Irvin. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a four but second it, difference. I, it kind of for me, it's a highlight of the whole thing. Really. Yeah. Or seeing the coaches just sit in the stands looking bored. You know, just trying to figure out what to do. But, yeah, I, I've, I've kind of had it on in the background. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, Gene, mm-hmm. uh, St. Louis is uh, a little upset with the NFL. What? Because uh, they're investigating uh, how the Rams, the, the, the Los Angeles now Rams, the organization, the mm. Rams, made a decision decision to go back to uh, Los Angeles and uh, what went wow. into that decision. And they requested documents, legal mm. documents, and the NFL is not turning them over. Uh oh. What are they trying to hide, Gene? Uh. What are they trying to hide? I don't know. What? That that they did not give a fuck about St. Louis <laughs> at any time during the twenty-year time. Yeah. 
Uh, but by the way, why is St. Louis complaining? Like I, you, you got exactly. a team, they won the Super Bowl right away. Right, right. I mean, that's better. I mean, it's better than uh, I don't know what Phoenix, right? Yeah. The hey, Cardinals. look at the the Rams were in L.A. for fifty years before you stole them, and they didn't <laughs> win the Super Bowl here. You got a Super Bowl out of them. That should have belonged yeah. to L.A. Should so, be, yeah. You much rather have the Rams, right? The yeah. Bears because they won a Super Bowl in '99, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess right. I don't know. Yeah, they. I mean, it, hey, you lost two. They also had the old Arizona Cardinals. So maybe, maybe look in the mirror. Maybe there. Maybe let's not blame others yeah. always. Yeah. So quick to blame uh, others. You, you got an arch. What else you got? Mm, the have Mississippi that? River. They yeah. do have the St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They have six flags over St. Louis. I, I, I don't think the, uh, the Mississippi East. River excites <laughs> young black athletes they, these days. They right? have East St. Louis, which is uh, on par with uh, any murder yeah. place. Capital of the world. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, Gene. And uh, we're going to go to hoops. Mm. A little hoops, Gene. Love the Bucks. I think they're my new favorite team. I well, hope jump they... j- jump on the bandwagon, Gene. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm uh, on it because they are good. But again, I'm not watching one minute All of right. this team. I'll watch for you. Uh, I've watched some. They're really good. They well, could win the title. They came to Los Angeles on Friday nights. Oh yeah, Gene, to play the Lakers. Yeah, and I'm so tuned into hoops. I'm such a big hoops fan. Right. Uh, that I was not made aware of that until my friends texted me. Oh. Uh, around midday. And uh, but Gene, you know tickets. Uh, there's like maybe fifteen hundred left, and I like tickets were like hundred dollars, the, yeah. the least amount. Mm-hmm. And uh, that went up to like one twenty, and there's like maybe a thousand tickets left. And then at that point, I kind of lost interest, so I right, never right. Uh, really saw what happened. Uh, but it was it a hundred dollars to go That's see the Lakers and, it, and LeBron. You're way the hell up there. Giannis, the yeah, 3, probably. Isn't it amazing? The ticket prices are expensive because of Giannis. It's not because of the Lakers at all. Yeah, everyone. It's because of the box. They're great, and and they got their their new stadiums really cool. Oh, I'm all in. I I I love the Bucks. I I like them more than the Bulls right now. I hope they win. Right. The title. <laughs> Good point. All right. Well, all whatever. Right. Right. They haven't won. They won in what seventy three or something. Seventy four. Yeah, like uh, but yeah. Uh, again, I did not uh, go to the game. I did not watch the game on TV. I played well, video I games that night. And uh, but I guess they won. Yeah, so yeah, and yeah. Uh, no big surprise. Uh, Lakers are a disaster. Speaking about the Lakers, LeBron James. Oh my gosh! Pride of Ohio. What's wrong with former him? from the Midwest? He's from Akron area. He is. Yeah. Uh, they needed to kind of go to so what? They're four and a half games out of the eighth uh, yeah. place with like twenty yeah. games left. Right, nineteen or eighteen and left. Gene, yeah. uh, this Laker team is not as bad as some of those Cleveland teams, right? Well, that no, he dragged no, in the playoffs. No, no, that's what's surprising. I mean, they got a lot of players that were pretty decent, but I think I think their confidence is shot when their <laughs> leader publicly calls for them all to get traded. <laughs> I yeah, mean, it's trying to like, you, yeah, that that's it. okay. Oh, uh, the trade deadline pass. Uh, you're still here. Oh, no hard feelings, guys. No, it pretty much looks at them uh, like the uh, janitorial staff are completely yeah. replaceable with name right, tags right. On, uh, on literally on their backs uh, in this case. Uh, but yeah, can you imagine Le- LeBron James not going to the playoffs? I mean, he's going to. OK, well, first of all, the fix is in. Oh. Well, and they well uh, they lost against Phoenix and uh, right, against other right, couple yeah, teams. But yeah. Gene, huh? the NBA is going to fix this. Oh, so they win the lottery? No, no, they, they're going to like win the next twenty games oh. or something like that in a row, <laughs> oh, right. for sure. No, they're out. The NBA, they're they're not going to make it. No way. They, LeBron can, has to be in the playoffs. He has to be. I know. They're I not know. Let it happen. If he well, that just shows you the West is a lot tougher in the East, but. They're not good. Not good. It's a disaster. This is a. This is way worse than any drama he had going on in Cleveland when he's getting his coaches fired, and he's going to get this coach fired too for sure. Well, he's he's uh, he's taking days off and yeah. then going to the recording studio yeah, the and getting before, messed up on drinking yeah, wine. Yeah, the night before a game, and then he didn't play the next day because he needed. Isn't this kind of stuff that he would call out? Yeah, when, when he was uh, playing at Cleveland mm. and Miami. Yeah. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. I, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> mm. A little disappointing. I mean, every every superstar. Right. There's bad years for Michael Jordan. Right. I mean, not really. At the <laughs> beginning. What the end. But he, he wasn't. Yeah. When he was at Washington, his last year as a bull, he won. 
Yeah, they're exactly. But he kind of had the same behavior, right? He like hated his the rest of his team. Yeah, and all he that called stuff. them out a lot. And as a GM and an owner, obviously he can't spot talent because they've been Charlotte's been yeah, if bad you're, forever. If you're playing, like shouldn't if you're playing with these guys, mm. shouldn't you be able to spot talent better than some guy up in the rafters, like yeah. uh, with binoculars, right? I mean, the, this guy's chooses are like terrible. Michael the choices are terrible. He's he's been terrible. Yeah. Oh, you mean uh, Michael Jordan? Yeah. Well, I, I'm talking about LeBron James, like right now. Right. Like, right. Uh, exactly. You would think. Like he plays with these guys. He should know like which guys are good, right? I know. Or maybe when they get on his team, that he just breaks them down mentally. I think so. I'm yeah. disappointed. This has not been a good transition. Hopefully, Space Jam Two will be better than this <laughs> season, which is a mega, mega budget um, sequel. Well, maybe he's just been so busy in the editing bay. Yeah. Uh, crafting it, you know, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Stanley Kubrick, 2001. Oh, Stanley Kubrick. And by the way, uh, right at Hollywood tonight, right now, in about an hour, it's going to go off, Captain Marvel premiere. So they have Hollywood all closed down, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. But I saw that. They have a huge Captain Marvel. I saw it all. It's really neat. Yep. All right. Well, nice. Pretty Jim. awesome. Nice. Hey, I'm excited about the uh, baseball. Maybe they're getting old because most people are like, oh, whatever. But I am excited about the baseball season, and uh, yeah, hopefully, and the Bucks. Well, I'm, I'm excited. excited about the Bucks playoff chances. Yeah, it should be it should be fun. That should be fun to watch. I uh, was hoping they would be home. I was going to go to a game in April. I don't know if they're. I can. I'm not sure. I have to check the schedule. That would be great to go to the new stadium. Awesome. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, for sure. And Paul McCartney's playing in Madison and also at Lambeau Field. So that would be really great. Oh, wow. Has he ever been to Wisconsin? No, I don't think so. It's his first (laughs) concerts in Wisconsin, I believe. He's going to be like, holy shit. I think he might have did something in Milwaukee, but it's his first time to Madison, and it's it's definitely his first time at Lambeau. That's pretty pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Oh, He he wasn't at the Ice Bowl? uh, I don't think so. Was not attending the Ice Bowl? Mm, Don't think he was. No. Yeah. I would have liked to have been there and would have went through it. Hey, so next week uh, I'll have my review of Cats, which are, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to love <laughs> very much. I'm already planning on seeing it twice. So there you go. All right. <laughs> what, you got a coupon? Two, no, two but for usually, one? I, usually I buy an extra ticket for uh, my friend, and uh, she didn't want to see this. So now I said, well, good, I'll go twice. Now oh, there you go. Friend. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Gene, are you you yeah. going to spring training like in the next couple yes, of weeks, or I what, am, what's the uh, plan again? I'm going uh, March 25th against the Red Sox. I already bought my t- I bought my ticket. Oh, so is that a, that's a regular season game or that's spring no, training? No, it's so it's, that's spring oh, okay. training. Okay, fifty dollars to sit on the lawn. Jeez, that's a that's a, and that was the cheapest ticket for spring training. <laughs> well, Gene, Gene, you didn't have to buy it. Mm, I did you, you because they were gonna. Yeah, maybe I should have waited. But yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna be Cubs. Oh, so awesome! They're gonna be good. All right. You don't want to piss off Chris Bryant, which you have officially. What is uh? What's up with uh St. Louis and like Chris? Oh no, because Chris Bryant said that it's oh, not yeah. a fun place to be, yeah. and then they're mad at him now. Or Where something they like go? That? What what place is it going on the road? He could have said Milwaukee, but he didn't. He said St. Louis. Yeah. Where it's a tough place to go. Yeah. Mm. Well, hey, man, uh, there's always riots. There's always race riots going on. So, yeah, uh, St. Louis, blame. you guys got to I, I, You know what? I, I have no problem saying that. I like Milwaukee a lot more than I like St. Louis. There, there you go. I said you go. Well, you're, it's, it's very brave. It's very, <laughs> very welcome. brave. All right. Well, Gene, I think that will be All it. Uh, it's been a great show. Yes, thank uh, you. It's been a lot of fun. It's been good being outside. It's a little chilly up here on the rooftop. Uh, it, it's 11 degrees out, but uh, you're, it looks like you're wearing a short well, sleeve shirt. We have a, uh, I don't know if you noticed, Jim, we got a, a heater above, oh, a, a, yes. above no, us. No wonder. One of those heaters, you know? Yeah. Yep. Do they turn on? Yep. Sure. Yep. So, all right, Gene. So, uh, I think that will be it. Okay. So, we're going to get this music going for you. So, for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stotts, and it's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, that was great. Really? That, that was really awesome. You've outdone yourself.